year. Um, I'm the owner of the little coffee shop on Platform 10. I sell coffee, tea, more coffee, uh, uh, but not green tea or any of that weird shit. Don't worry, I'm not a psychopath. Yeah, um, business ain't been doing great, so to speak. Because guess what? I decided to set up my coffee shop, the um, uh, the Grab It While It's Hot. I came up with that name. Near Acosta. I know. Pretty stupid considering the genius that came up with this name. Yeah, well, um, most of the customers went their way in the morning because, you know, they're just so well known. And I don't blame them. I sometimes go there on my breaks. I think what helps them is that they have these two sexy baristas working behind the counter. Juan and Shakira. Even I get flustered when one of them asks, do you want sugar with that, me amor? And Shakira certainly knows how to work a frother, if you get my meaning. <laughs> yeah, um, I tried hiring sexy staff once, but all I got was this dickhead named Steve from Liverpool. Not as sexy as a Spanish accent, is it? You want sugar with that me, me, like me, me. Hi, just nah. Yeah. Well, at least I was getting some customers. I mean, I saw them take one sip of my coffee and then just spit it out and throw it away. But at least they paid for it. And because it's the South, hardly anyone asks for their money back. I was doing all right. And then a bloody Starbucks decides to open up nearby. Then a Cafe Nero. And then, now this is the one that really pisses me off. It's this one called, come and get your hot coffee. They basically stole my name and they get more customers than me. And it's owned by this pretentious, bitch called Destiny. She's one of these millennial, lactose-free, gluten-free, hippie nut jobs who's all about animal rights and save the planet. Greeting passes by with a smile on her face, offering them a huge selection of free-from items and what she likes to call their very own coffee experience. Yeah, I'm gonna wear braids to my hair and feathers and it'll be so great for the environment. Yay! I'm sorry, but just fuck off. No one has time for that hippie nonsense. And I'm sure that people want to get to work in the morning without having to talk to anyone, let alone this encyclopedia of bullshit and endless happiness, which does the exact opposite for me and just pisses me off. I, on the other hand, am a stand-up guy, a proper Brit. Like, uh, uh, here's your coffee or, or, or here's your tea. Don't get shot, stabbed, robbed, raped, beaten up, spat on, pissed on, or jump in front of a train today, mate, and you'll be fine. Or get involved in a terrorist attack. I'm sorry, but wouldn't you say that is helpful advice and not inappropriate? Especially since you're here now interviewing me about the recent terrorist attack on Platform 10. Sergeant. You know, you think it would be like sad or worrying or traumatic seeing this dipshit in a vest blowing himself up in the middle of the platform 10 at 9.30 in the morning. But no, not for me. Because guess what? He detonated near all the other coffee shops. It seems like Destiny's destiny is to pick up those cardboard pieces of shit. She likes to call her gluten-free biscuits while I take all her customers. Yeah, I, I know it's sad and what with all the 
death and destruction and knowing that people are going to be living with PTSD for the rest of their lives when they really shouldn't have to. But, as the old saying goes, every cloud has a silver lining. How do you take your coffee, Sergeant? <laughs>